Hey, this is Linz, and you are watching Support the Scene. Hi, my name is Linz, and this is Support the Scene. I'm here with Jess, and we're going to talk about Blood of the Phoenix. Awesome. So, uh, could you tell us a little bit more about your band? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so, Blood of the Phoenix is a relatively new metalcore band. Mm -hmm. Uh, we formed in 2020, which was fun times. <laughs> yeah, we were like, I think we formed in, I want to say March was when I joined the band. Okay. March 2020. So you like massive lockdown mode time. Yeah. Um, but we got together and then I knew Jade, who's also Fallen Stars, support the scene, Jade. Mm -hmm. um, I knew Jade from like my past life of being in a blues rock band. Awesome. And we were looking for a bassist and I was like, yo, like I know this person who plays all of the instruments and does all of the things. Yeah. Um, so we brought Jade in and then we decided we would start writing and figuring out um, a recording situation. Fantastic. So who are all part of your band? Um, so right now we've got a bit of a lineup change from the originating group, but we've got myself, uh, Jade Weeks, we've got Manny um, and Tim on guitar and bass. And we're currently in the middle of hopefully locking down a drummer for us. Awesome. And do you guys have any music out right now? What do you got going on? Yeah, yeah. Um, we currently have a full three songs up on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, whatever it is that you use. Um, we got them up there. There's Signs of War, Searching for a Destination, and Lady of the Plague. Okay. From our EP, From What We Used to Know. And how do we search for that? How do we find your guys's? Uh, easiest way is just look up Blood of the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. uh, three or four Spotify, separate words. YouTube. Yeah, any anything, even Google, and it should come up on, on anything. Find our social medias. We'll have all the links up on everything anyway. Awesome. Um, our Facebook, I think it's like the first link you can click on, leads right to Bandcamp, right to that EP. Because yeah. <laughs> we're like, we want people to be able to access this right away. Make yeah. sure it's up at the top. So yeah, lock into all of the social medias and we've got news updates, we've got updates about any upcoming things that we're doing. We're hoping to get another recording done sometime in the early uh, new year so that we can have some new content out. Because it's been since July since we released our EP. So it's been a minute and we haven't done anything like content no wise for a new bit. material coming or what do you guys have for future work? Yeah, um, we're, like I said, we're hoping to get a single put out there. We've been talking to a few guys about recording and like what kind of roadmap we can have for that, what timeline, what works for the people who will be doing the engineering, mixing, mastering, that kind of thing. Um, and we're hoping to release a new single, um, maybe by March, maybe, don't quote me on that, but <laughs> about that timeline, um, depending on how things go with, again, this, this guy that we're hoping to lock into drums. Yeah. And with uh, everything that's going on, where do you guys see yourself moving forward? Do you guys just uh, stay local? Or are you looking for to maybe do tours across Canada, expand yeah. Like, countries? Yeah, it's an interesting network. Um, it's an interesting environment that we're in now, interesting year that we've had. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't know how much planning we can get away with without COVID just being like, nope, not gonna do that one. Yeah. But uh, ideally, ideally, yeah, like a like a bit touring. Um, it, it depends on people's schedules too and like what people are available for. But ideally, if we could like hit the island, that would be sick. If we could hit like Edmonton, that would be sick. I, I was born in Edmonton, so oh. it would be nice to go back home and, Alberta and play a bit. Yeah. Just like me. Oh, nice. I'm a little south. I'm from Calgary. Oh, Calgary. I got to leave now. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We know Edmonton isn't that great. Oh, Edmonton. <laughs> Shots fired. <laughs> Was there anything else exciting that you guys uh, want to talk about or tell us that we haven't heard from you guys about? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, we've got a lot of live things coming up just locally in our circuit. We've got um, this Saturday, November 27th, we're at the Wolf Bar in Maple Ridge. Um, then in December, we've got 
December 11th, we're at Bullies. Um, December 18th, we're back at the Wolf. And then January 8th, we're back at Bullies. So lots of back and forth between the two. We've currently called it the Bully Wolf Tour. Nice. Quote unquote. <laughs> <laughs> Just to like give it a little hype, give it a little name. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we got some shows coming out and hopefully doing a little bit more on the online world, hopefully. Um, it's all dependent on us getting together and, and really hunkering down and putting it out there. But I'm hoping that we can get some like live playthroughs up and some maybe sing throughs and some streaming on Twitch, that kind of thing. Yeah. Well, and that's some of the things that's been a, a learning process for a lot of people, bands and artists over COVID trying to figure out how to use Twitch and um, these online uh, music shows. Have you ever had to do that during COVID? Try and deal with any of those? Yeah, <laughs> um, we had a bit of that. Like our EP release back in January or July um, wound up being an online thing. Oh, nice. And like we, we, as anybody would before COVID, had been anticipating doing a big EP release party at like a venue with many bands and like, yeah. you know, live and in person and being like, buy our shit, buy our album, please. But COVID didn't allow for that to happen, so we had to adapt and make it an online thing. So we've already sort of navigated, like, figuring out how to do a live stream, figuring out how to do, like, a chat at the same time, manage that, do, like, a little interview with, with the other bands that we were with to try and keep it, like, kind of live in a way. Because, yeah. like... It loses a lot of that live feeling and a lot of that live energy that that you get in person at a show. So I remember when we were coordinating the EP release, something that we really prioritized was how do we make this feel like it's happening right now and like in person and is still relevant to the current day because the sets that we were given were pre-recorded by the bands, like for the purpose of the EP release, but they had to record the set and then send it off to Jade, and then Jade had to like edit it, make it all nice and smooth. Yeah. And then we would be like, introducing blah, 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 and then pretend like it was live, you know, like, play your set. And then they would play the set, but it was really just pushing play on a video. Yeah. So it was really important for us to, with the change of the, the environment and the layout of things being so virtual and digital. I was like, I want to have the artist meet with us before they play their show live. Yeah. Like get them into a video chat, put it up on the screen, and then we can like talk and, and make it more like it's happening in the immediate moment before we roll their tape kind of thing. Yeah, I know online shows are just, it does give that a fake feel and look especially being pre-recorded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the pre-recorded thing was funny. Cause I mean, we even pre-recorded our own set. Yeah. And it's like, when you're doing it, you have to like, today, the day that the EP releases. And it's like, it's not out yet. <laughs> do you feel like you're like practice at practice? Or do you feel like maybe you're potentially, you know, performing for a crowd. Yeah, you know, I think the thing that helped, it definitely felt a bit like practice because we've done a few live streams at this point. I think we've done, oof, I want to say like five live streams at this point. Mm -hmm. um, and for most of them, it definitely had the feeling of being like, this is so weird. I'm not performing to a crowd, I'm performing to a camera. Yeah. And it's like, well, there's no like, there's no push pull of like an audience where it's like you can interact and they go like, yeah, and then, you know, carry on so one of the cool things was for our ep release show um we had some friends come out who were all like in masks and distanced and stuff but we're like we need somebody there to help us feel like it's our big thing yeah because like otherwise it was just recorded in front of a camera and just like Okay, and go. <laughs> so we brought a couple of people out and they stood in the inner space distanced and they're like, woo! Yeah. And we're like, okay, now it feels like I'm I'm doing the thing again. Not yeah. like not like a video. Well you must be super hyped for these upcoming shows. Oh, I'm so stoked. I'm so excited. It's it's a bit of like a weight of like sadness kind of going off of you. Because mm -hmm. you're like 
we're getting back to some of the things, even though we still have some of the restrictions. I know that Ontario, they've uh, lifted of the number of people that are allowed to be uh, in a venue, which is fantastic. Oh, sick. Yeah. Nice. But here, we'll see. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we're yeah. getting there. We're I know so many there. times it's like, you can do this. No, you can't. You can do this. Nope. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys uh, practicing weekly? Is this something that you guys are just super all about? Like, this is... Uh, your main goal is to work on your band and move forward? Yeah, I mean, that's the ultimate the ultimate goal. Um, right now we do practice on a weekly basis. Um, like every Sunday we get together and jam out our stuff and try and write new material. But, I mean, it's not like, for me it's my only project, but like Jade naturally has, has fallen stars, has support the scene, she's yes. a very busy person. <laughs> yeah. So it's like we keep it to, on a very strict schedule and it's like, okay, if we do this once a week, we know we can get away with getting some actual productivity in. That's good. Yeah. Is there uh, anything else you want to tell everyone before we go? Um, just find us on our social medias. We're on all of the big major platforms. Again, our music is on Spotify, on iTunes, on YouTube music, whatever else there is out there. I'm sure we're on it. Um, but we're also Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all the things making total awesome. fools of ourselves on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, TikTok is fun for that. I, I can't lie. Yeah. 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 Well, thanks everybody for coming out. My name is Linz and this is Support the Scene. Thanks for watching. This is Support the Scene. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, follow, and share.